Hey you guys, this is Mark the Geek. In this video, I have a keyboard that I just received for my Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition. I got this case from eBay. Um, of course, it's being shipped from um, China right now um, for $29.99, including shipping. For me, it's damn good price. Um, and I just got it today. Um, this right here, let's see where it says over here in the specs. Uh, keyboard spec specification, wireless 3.0 interface standard, operating distance to 10 meters, modulation system, GFSK, whatever the hell that means, <laughs> um, operating voltage, 3.0 to 5.0 voltage, uh, standby 60 days, not bad, charging time between 4 to 5 hours, uh, lithium battery capacity of 160 milliamp, um, uninterrupting working time for 55 hours. Okay, over here in the back, we got a couple images of the keyboard itself. Uh, like you can see, it actually looks like one of those on Logitech keyboards that are made for like the iPads. Um, sadly, for um, Android devices, um, they're not making these type of keyboards, which totally sucks because I love these keyboards from Logitech. But of course, this is not from Logitech. So obviously the quality is not gonna be the same. So don't, if you ever had one of those keyboards before and you got an Android device now, because you have an Android, of course, um, don't expect the same quality as the Logitech. The Logitech keyboard is like $100 or sometimes $130. So here you got a cable for charging the, the keyboard, of course. It charges via a micro USB cable, which is great because uh, we have tons of those cables around. Here is the keyboard. Over here you got some, put that inside. So you got instruction manuals of how to connect the keyboard to your tablet. And over here in the on the back you have a couple features of the keyboard and over here like you see right here it says also compatible with Samsung Mac and PC over here like you see there's a couple editing keys for example it has the copy and paste keys it shows you right there functionality key system and over here is home system function keys like the home button search brightness and all that cool so there it is here is the keyboard. Uh, you got a perfectly QWERTY keyboard here. Very cool. And uh, the great thing is that these buttons are actually um, hard plastic buttons. They're not like gummy like other keyboards I've seen for Android devices that, that have been being sold on, um, on eBay or Amazon. Uh, those keyboards feel very, very bad. This actually these are actually hard plastic keys and they have good spring uh, feedback. Like that. Over here you got the home button, you got the search button, you got the, the brightness, you got the copy, you got cut, copy, paste, you got the media buttons, you got the volume buttons right here and all the other extra buttons so like the back button you got it over here and everything else. You see right here, and it looks very cool. It feels very cool. Of course, it's all plastic. There's nothing metal here, so everything is plastic, and it actually feels very damn damn light because it's all plastic. The keys are plastic. This is plastic. Uh, the back is plastic, and like you see, it also has. <laughs> this is something that I like. It also has the same um, um, stitching pattern as the tablet itself as the note tablet which is kind of cool it keeps the same um style on both sides that's kind of cool there so let's go ahead and link it up okay so now let's go ahead and link it up to the tablet itself over here you, these are the only two buttons you're gonna see and over here is the charging port for the keyboard itself and to start the to start the linking you have to turn it on over here uh, you're gonna see like a blue light light up right there. Uh, now let's go ahead and put the tablet here. Like you see right here, it fits perfectly there. And make sure the Bluetooth is on. Yeah, it's on. Let's go make sure 
I go over here. Now let's go ahead and press. Uh, there is a little button right here that you press it once you turn it on. Like you see, it starts blinking. And now over here, let's go ahead and scan. And while it's blinking, you should see over here a device pop up. It says right here, mobile keyboard. Go ahead and link it up. And now you have a code that I have to type to the keyboard. Five, zero, two, zero, one, eight. And press enter. And that's it. Just like that, just like that. And keep in mind, this is only gonna be done when you connect it the first time. When you buy it, when you take it out of the box, the keyboard, and you do it the first setup, that's the only time you do that feature right there, just like you would on any other device, like uh, headphones or any other device that you link to your uh, um, tablet via Bluetooth. You do it just once and you're done. That's it. Um, every time you turn it on and off, it will automatically link automatically to the tablet. So now that we have it connected here, like you see right here, it looks very cool. I like the way it looks. Uh, the tablet itself connected here to the sides, like you see right here. Like you see here. Like you can see here, very cool. For me, it actually has a very good angle that I actually like to watch like DVDs and movies and all that, which is a perfect angle for me. It looks very nice, I like it. Um, also, um, it actually, um, turns into a case when you put it there let me go ahead and put it here and here and there it goes now it's locked in so like you see if you have a case here you won't be able to use the keyboard as a case if you actually have a case so you can't use a case while you're using it in this form right here so not bad and it actually holds it very good. Like you see right there, it actually holds it very good. I can shake it a little bit, it's not gonna fall off. But of course, you're not gonna be holding your, your keyboard with your tablet like this, right? You're not gonna walk around with your tablet like this. So if it doesn't fall like this, I'm just holding it from the plastic and it doesn't fall. So I don't think you should mind of this um, falling down. So actually for me, it feels very good. You still have access to all the ports. Like you see right there, you still have access to all the ports. The charging port right here, um, it's it fits very tight. When you put the charging port there, it's gonna fit very tight. So let's go ahead and take it out again. Let's go ahead and take the tablet out. There you go. And there you go, let's put it like that. And there it is. Um, over here, you got the, the, the home button, when you press it. Like you see right there, it takes you to the magazine section of the tablet. You press right there again, it goes to the home screen. You press right there again, it takes you to the magazine. With the directional buttons over here, you can actually navigate through all the magazines. Like you see right there, I could go down, up. Very cool, that's very convenient. Let's go back over here. And of course, you can also use the back button as well to back up from apps. Like if it go like that again, I can always use the back button to get out. Just like, it works just like the tablet has the back button, just like that. It also works as the home button. If you press and hold, you're gonna see the multitask button right here. Like you see right here, you can navigate between all the apps that you have here. Like you see, I could go ahead and open up um, YouTube. Boom. Just like that, just by using the keyboard. Not bad, very cool. Um, of course, uh, let's go ahead back to home screen. If I, press in, if I press here, the search button, it'll take me to Google Now. Look at that, to Google Now, awesome. If I go back again, it take me out. If I hold, the search button, it will give me the option to choose Google Now or Google Search and S Voice. Like you see right here, I could go ahead and tap here, S Voice, and choose S Voice. And of course, with the directional button, I could go ahead through the pages of the, of the tablet. Like you see right there. And like you see, it's going by, it's moving by app. So if I open Flipboard, 
If I click on Flipboard there, it will automatically open Flipboard. Not bad, love it, very cool. Let me see what else I can do here. Let's go ahead here, I can open up folders, like you see there, by tapping the enter button on a folder. And if I want to start a document, I could go ahead and press Evernote there, click choose Evernote, and start typing a document. Let's click right there, and I could start typing here. Let's say, let's go ahead and write something so I can um, show you guys the keyboard. Now let's go ahead and write whatever gibberish. Let's see right here. Um, of course, if I want to select everything, all I have to do is press Control A, and it will automatically um, select everything. Uh, but if what I want to do is uh, just, for example, select a couple words or something like that, I could just press and hold us um, the Shift button and press the directional button. And like you see here, I could select, click, 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 click back, and select anything. I could cut right there using the shortcut right there of the keyboard and for example if i can also select uh, these things over here the numeric buttons right there and i could go ahead and press um paste right there like you see right there very cool not 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 bad so like you see it actually works with evernote which is good because this is an app that i use a lot uh, let's see if it actually works with um, it's recognized by another app as well like uh, for example uh, quick office which is a, a Google document app creation um, let's go here and create a I could go ahead document spreadsheet presentation go ahead document and let's see if it actually recognizes the keyboard as well yeah I can see right here anything that is writing should work and of course from here you can also control the brightness of the tablet you could go up the brightness there or you could go way down the brightness all the way down till it's almost dark as hell unviewable <laughs> but that's very good that's nice to have that feature right there too available Okay, also while watching videos, um, you can also con uh, use the um, play button over here to pause the video. If I press uh, right there, it will automatically pause the video. If I click it again, it will automatically start playing again. I could um, unmute it. I could go ahead and lower down the volume from here. I could go ahead up the volume from here. Very cool. Uh, I could mute and I could go ahead if there's nothing playing, like for example, if there's no video playing, you can actually mute and you can go to also to, um, let's go ahead and click back. So I can show you, you can also go to vibration. Like you see right there, it mutes and it goes to vibration as well. You can feel the tablet vibrate when you do that. So that's kind of cool. Um, it connects very fast as well. Like for example, if I turn it off, if I turn it off, it will automatically... Uh, unlink itself like you see right there it totally unlinked itself and there's nothing going on here and if I turn it back on let's see how long it takes to connect again one two there it goes it connected already so like you see here it's already connected and I could go ahead and start messing here with the home button already not bad that's something very cool that's something very cool i like it um i will i think this is the case that i'm gonna be using from now on because i actually like to be responding to my emails and messages as soon as i can and sometimes i i leave it to answer a little bit later because i don't i don't really like typing too much on the screen long 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 messages but having the keyboard is going to be a lot more easier you could uh, use this in your lap and it's gonna feel a lot better typing with this on your lap, which is good. And also, I uh, think for the price that you're paying, it's it's twenty nine ninety nine. But keep in mind, if you go to if you go to uh, eBay, 
there's gonna be different prices. Sometimes you're gonna get it for $20 and $10 shipping or $25, $3 shipping um, or $29.99 like I did I because I bought it exactly when it came out because this was not available when, when I got my tablet, this keyboard was still not available. It was posted as future release and I was paying attention to it until it finally got released date. So when it got released day, boom, I just went and bought it and I just got it uh, today in the morning. Um, here, like you see right here, right now it's the screen is totally off. But if it's linked and you press the home button, it will automatically uh, turn on the screen. And if you press it again, it will unlock the tablet. Look at that. That's very cool. So like you see, I, it has basically all the functions that you want of a keyboard available here of course uh don't expect this to be the same quality as the logitech keyboards that they're made for um ipads i've had those before when i had my ipads and believe me those feel a lot more a little bit heavier because of the quality built quality of them um this actually feels very very light and it's because everything is plastic everything here is out of it's plastic and but at least the keys they feel sturdy and they feel hard and they they have good response which is all i can ask for a 29 dollar keyboard for my tablet so guys that's it this was a look at a keyboard for the samsung galaxy note 10.1 2014 edition thanks for watching guys Till next time.